Crusaders are here. Head coach Matt Lodick, Daniel Saki, Javon Freeman represent the university. We're going to have uh, the head coach make a statement on the game, and then we'll go to questions for all three members of Valparaiso. Matt, please. You know, obviously, um, you know, I think the story of the game was just the first half. You know, they, they really jumped on us, and, um, you know, they looked like a team that <laughs> – it was pretty motivated and a little rested. And, um, uh, you know, the message at halftime was just, you know, get back to being Valpo basketball, right? We, and I'm looking at this, they shot 64% um, in the first half, and that's that's just not who we've been um, and not who we are. So we challenged our guys, obviously defended well, won the second half by nine. And, um, you know, just a tale of two halves. You know, you just can't get down 22 um, to a veteran club like Loyola. Um, but I was proud of our fight. I mean, the guys uh, stuck together. They continued to fight. And um, we played well in the second half. There were stretches there. You know, again, you know, we emphasized a lot, just turnovers. You know, we've been turning the ball over a lot coming into this tournament, you know, to finish um, against 10. I think Loyola might lead the conference in forced turnovers or, or they're near the top. So I was proud of that. Um, you know, the message to our guys is, you know, we got one senior. Um, and... Um, you know, it's, it's special that we're the first team to ever win um, a game in this tournament. Um, and so, you know, we're going to ride on that. I think, you know, obviously we had our share of injuries. I think we're probably more of a, you know, a 20-win team. But that just wasn't the reality of it this year. Um, but I do know that we're motivated. And, you know, we'll take some time. Our guys are on spring break right now. But we're going to hit the gym. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a, a good off season, And we're going to get a lot better. Questions, Paul, start us off. Javon, can you just touch on the opening three or four minutes of the game? I mean, everything seemed to go right last night, and everything seemed to not go right in the first couple of minutes. I mean, like Coach said, that was a team that was well, well rested, and we just came from off a game not too long ago. So I feel like they was just more prepared than us. Daniel, you know, coach talked about the off season. I know that you're you got some a lot of leadership qualities. Just how much is this off season important for you to kind of step up and get these guys in the gym and everything? Uh, it's very important. The off season is uh, as important as just when you're in season. Uh, for me, as being a uh, being an uh, upcoming leader, I gotta make sure I'm on doing 100 percent I can to get better individually and encouraging my teammates to do the same. Uh, and then build from there as a team. So. Yeah, Matt, you guys get the win tonight. It's, it reminds me of Loyola's entering into this tournament as well, into this league a couple years ago. They got one win that first time when they got it, and then we've watched them build. What can you learn maybe comparing where you guys are at with where they were a couple years ago? You know, it's funny. We, we've actually looked a lot at, you know, chem bomb numbers and things like that, and, and we're, we're very similar. Um, in fact, we actually defend similar, similarly and uh, um, run, you know, a similar type of offense. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting here next to, to two freshmen, you know, two freshmen, and, um, you know, I have one senior in my locker room right now. And so um, I do think the future's bright. Um, you know, that being said, I know how hard they worked to get better, and um, you know, we're going to do the same, you know, we're going to do the same. Um, uh, again, there's a motivated bunch in here, um, that, that really wants to, to be good. And, um, and we got a motivated coaching staff that really wants to get them better. I guess, Javon, what do you take away from your freshman season of college basketball? I mean, uh, coming in, like I said before, coming in, I didn't think, None of this could happen. But uh, progressing through the season, I just felt like I got better defensively and offensively. <coughs> Still working on my strength for a little bit and just hope to come back and be a better player. Matt, Derek came out with 11 minutes and 21 seconds left. I think Dion came out with 12.54 left. They didn't go back in. Is that injuries is that anything else no uh, Dion was I mean Dion had uh, I'm not exactly sure they get a hit point or something I, yeah I'm not I'm not sure I mean he's fine nothing too serious but um was incapable of going and then uh Derek I, it just was a rotational thing um you know I thought we, we put Malik in there at the five try to go small 
Um, and I thought we got a good rhythm. I mean, we really did. And, um, you know, he was able to put a lot of pressure on Loyola, um, you know, just having him out in the perimeter. Um, I thought he drove and, you know, obviously hit a three and things like that. So um, it just was the way that the game worked. Um, you know, obviously Derek early in the first half got two quick fouls. Um, and so it kind of took him a little bit out of a rhythm. Um, but, um, you know, it's just the way the game went. With the off season in regards to, you know, you said they're on spring break, but when do you have exit meetings and do you got to talk to your juniors and make sure they're all coming back, your freshmen and all of that? Yeah, I mean, we'll do that. Um, there's no doubt about it. Anything else for the Crusaders? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck in the future.